Hello, it's Nessa Tilson here, and this is a short video just to how to show um, how to put railing on a stair instead of spindles or um, balusters. Um, the the way we do this is maybe a bit obscure uh, at the beginning because the menu that we use is is not is not obvious how to get to it. So let's start a new stair. Just start out. Let's put the language in English so that we we can got something coherent and uh, let's just start a new stair let's get you know let's just put it up two flights uh, give it a decent number of steps update it we can even put in a bit more bit uh, no that's okay a uh, bit less steps hang on 16 might work it's 20 okay now we have a stair which is pretty coherent and let's just put in a few uh, posts New posts and then new posts of 100 by 100 here. Um, this new post here, we just sling one in as it comes, and this one here too, a new post, and let's put it in 100 by 100 millimeters. Okay, now we have the stair. If we look at it in 3D, by default, Stair Designer has put in uh, spindles, upright spindles, and uh, to change this into railing we go into the plan view we could put the mouse over one of the flights and click right and choose in the menu flight parameters and we're going to say here on the right side instead of having um, right banisters which is ticked here we untick right banisters and we put right tube rails which is that tube railing I click OK and if we look in 3D now we have tubes that are running up the flight here. Neat. And go back into 2D if you want to do it on the second flight. Mouse over the flight till it goes blue. Click right, flight parameters, right banisters. Unclick, right tube running, click. OK. And in 3D we have the railing. So that's a very neat way of putting. You know, just railing quickly. Be careful that um, the railing is not taken into account in the cutting lists, as this is just a feature, you know, a display feature which has been added. Um, and be careful as well. For instance, here, uh, if your railing, for instance, is 14 millimeter railing, uh, you will need an intermediary, an intermediary newel post here to make it safe and it so that it doesn't um, bend. Right, thank you for watching this video and I um, hope it's been helpful. See you in another video soon. Goodbye.